Hey ladies, you reached So Natural One here on YouTube. Also, SoNaturalOne.com and I see you envy me on YouTube as well. That is my original channel. We've officially moved over to SoNaturalOne.com and you're watching me now. Thank you so much for tuning in. Alright, so today you guys can see I'm wearing do, 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 my natural hair. Okay? And I also cut off my brown ends. So that was bugging me for a little bit. Um, I had my brown ends when I first cut my hair back in July 2010. And over time, I think that I kind of got away from the moisturizing part. So I went ahead and clipped those off and basically started um, from the black roots out. All right. So it's about that much of the brown ends that I cut off. I did it myself. Um, and yeah, now we have it here. All right. So you guys usually see me um, all the time with my Arjuni. My Arjuni wig is about eight inches. But I'm... Um, I'm going to give that a rest for a little while. Um, you guys last saw me with the Arjuni wig for the photo shoot. And before that, I said I was going to do just cornrows for a while. But um, I decided to definitely just go with twist outs, um, afros, and that's it. Um, simply because it's less tension on my hair. And I find that when I have lots of tension on my hair, my hair tells me something like, get me out of it. Like, I feel the tension all up in here and it hurts like crazy. And I do not like that for my hair at all. So I'm going more so on the free line. And you may ask me ask what prompted this change. All right. So I had a client um, come from Georgia uh, around the Christmas time. And she suggested that I go ahead and moisturize my hair a whole lot more often because I want to get more tips on how to grow my hair out. Um, and she told me what to use. And she uses um, shea butter. You know, the, you guys know the shea butter, almond oil, whole oil, coconut oil. You can mix all those things together, put it in your hair, and moisturize it, blah, blah, blah. Right? And Profective, she said that there's something, um, it's like an orange type of texture that I can use to moisturize my hair when I'm too strong twisting it. All right, so that was a jump start of everything. Um, I found that I could not actually, since she makes the product, I couldn't get it from her directly. Um, not immediately. She's going to make some for me now. But um, I just went ahead and jumped off the deep end and decided to, you know, go with things that I can get in store right near me without having to really worry about someone making a product for me. So... I twisted my hair out and I used this mango and lime blocking cream um, by the, this is Jamaican line. And you guys, you find this even in Kroger. Um, and I find that it's really heavy. Um, it's it's a wax. But for some reason for me, if I use very little bit in rubbing into my fingers, it, it melts down really easily. And it, it allows my hair to have some type of shine to it and holds it too when I choose to twist it. Also, I started washing with this product called Hair One. I can get it from Sally's, and they compare it to Win. okay? This bottle cost me about $11, and after I finish um, doing the one time, that's it. This is a hair cleanser and, shoe, and conditioner all in the same thing. So a hair cl cleanser and a conditioner all in the same thing. And then I spray in the, vo the um, volumizing uh, leave-in spray. So I looked over these products simply because they compare it to one in Sally. So if you guys want to see it and you want to see, you're so used to seeing the GVC brand, look for Hair One instead. Look for this bottle because that's the one they're talking about. All right. Rather than buy the Wind product, buy that product. All right, and you get way more. Um, if you guys can look at my hair, that is how I've been wearing it. Um, this is a I think three to four day old twist out, and I twisted my hair up with um, the Bob Marley hair, the same length as my hair. And I wore that for about a week. I took it down. It was still, like, crinkly. Wore that. My hair was obviously looking crazy the next day. And then I wet it. And then over time, it just kind of started to, the twist started to, like, uncoil and become more of a, I don't know, a swelled coil with the water. All right. So that is my spiel on what I do for my hair. Um, I wanted to tell you guys that with So Natural, majority of my clients are natural. So if you guys are thinking, like, what kind of hair type to deal with majority of the time i deal with clients that are natural i do always you know service the people that are transitioning or permed but i cater to the clients that are natural most importantly um you will never ever ever come into the salon and feel like you know i can't handle it or it's too much hair or i may start tugging at your hair and not know how to you know um braid it or i have to apply so much heat in order to even get you started for the process but that's not the way that it works with me. Um, I'm so proud to say that I am a licensed natural hair braiding stylist in the state of North Carolina. So that means in the state of North Carolina, I can do anything else besides apply chemical. And you guys know that's not what I do anyway. So if you guys are interested 
and becoming natural or transitioning over. Definitely. Feel free to contact me through email at so natural one at yahoo.com. And I can now come to you guys as inspiration or be inspiration to you guys. I'm looking to transition here on so natural one.com. Um, I understand it's a very, very, very difficult process. It takes a little while to get used to. And even with myself, I was hiding underneath my arginine. And I found that arginine made me feel better um, so far as, you know, presenting myself to the public or going to a crowd of people or going on casting calls or anything. It just made me feel like I was put together. Um, but I'm proud to say that January 6, 2012, today, I went on my first casting call with my real hair. And I even did a headshot and it did like I felt okay. You know, so it's most importantly that um, we draw inspiration from other natural people and from the people around us because that's the one thing that keeps you going when you're natural. It is not easy. It is not easy. And I'll be the first person to say that natural hair is a whole lot harder to manage than perm hair, but we're healthier. Definitely healthier. Um, I would also like to say thank you to my husband because if he had not forced me to do this or wear my hair natural and like not really rely on my arginine. I would have definitely been hiding underneath my arginine wig for a whole lot longer than this. Um, so I'll be rocking my TWA a whole lot more and relying on my win, well not win, but hair one product from Sally's and really take care of my hair as a whole and not really, you know, worry about just taking care of the perimeter or the middle part of my hair. I can take care of my hair as a whole and watch it grow. And then over time, you guys look at my videos and see it goes from here to here to here and then, you know, eventually hit my shoulders. So.